But right now, it's actually my two year anniversary and moving forward, and that is, I've been gear free for two years. Contrary to belief, I just wanna, I have to address that because for those who are still wondering, because they're wondering if I, you know, did anything, went back on or do whatever, where I'm at now with my um, post-retirement bodybuilding, I am right now still on squat all and love the compliments. I love all, I do really do like, no, oh, he's on TRT or whatever. I'm like, hey man, you believe what you want, man, but appreciate it because I'm 40 and I'm getting younger, so I like it. Either way, I am completely gear free, still zero, zip, zulch, nothing, nada, nothing. Just literally Blue Star supplements, Blue Star products, and that's about it. It's definitely not a, a plug, although naturally is one, but it's literally what I'm doing. Anyway, so I'm gonna super set and do an upper push pull today, so I'm prioritizing chest still. So I'm gonna do my chest movement first and then back. So it'll be a super set of chest back, chest back, chest back, chest back. So I'm gonna do a dumbbell, 15 degree bench, then super set that with pull ups. So I'm done doing that. I'm gonna go to incline, Smith uh, the Gene Press, um, 30 degree, and then I'm gonna do the row, um, cable row. I'll show you how to do that one here because I love doing it here. And then I'm gonna super set. Cable flies with straight arm pull downs. And then I'm gonna superset buys and tries. So I'm gonna do preacher curl with tricep extension. So you guys can follow along. Uh, I'm gonna be doing three hard sets of each. I'm gonna be resting, you know, as soon as my heart rate is back down to uh, resting, I'm gonna go jump right in right away. My goal is not to be, to build really anything, but just to continue just to stay strong. So that's all I'm doing. And that's my goal. I don't want to be any bigger. I don't eat to get bigger and I don't train to get bigger. I train more so to that. Obviously just maintain strength, mobility and all that good stuff. Because again, post bodybuilding, I get to do more. Anyway, let's go. The, uh, my heart rate does reflect my recovery. So if this is going still, it will, it will reflect the next set I do. When it goes down, I can definitely perform better. So I'm gonna build up. I'm doing eight to 10 reps, like a two to three second negative. And again, if I was trying to get to grow muscle, like this was really trying, I'd be, you know, I'd really focus more on like a higher or a longer set. Now the set's like pretty much like your bare minimum. It's gonna be around like a 30 second set. And as I go higher in weight, I probably will speed up the eccentric a little bit. But again, my goal isn't to, is to do anything but just maintain the physique that I have and keep some, you know, some relative strength. So I'm gonna move up each set. This will be my second set. My last two sets out of the three are gonna be hard sets, obviously. So I can basically know where I'm at in terms of like a load to use and not to think I'm jumping. But again, start off with 60s. Can go to 70s. I know that I can do 80. Doing a back-to-back -back, um, pull-ups, then you know, bench or chest. My body's pretty warm, so so I'm gonna really trying to prioritize growing. It's, you can do a push pull, upper push pull for sure. You just have to make sure you're prioritizing the muscle that you're trying to emphasize. If that is your thing, if you want to get bigger, if you're just gonna get strong too, it's very easy to program. Ten, manageable. So I walk to my next exercise. Again, like if my heart rate's pounding and I'm doing a superset, I'm gonna gas out here too fast. So give yourself some time if your heart rate to cool down a little bit. But again, if you're prioritizing chest, it makes you doing it before you do back. If you're prioritizing back, it makes you doing back before you do chest.
And because I know my back is, it's always been stronger than my chest, doing pull-ups, my rep range is like six to 10 reps. I know that I can do it just for the tempo and having it second to chest. Um, I'm not gonna do two more sets. I could have done, I mean reps. I could have done two more reps for sure, but it would have been, for me, unnecessary. These first three feel easy. All right, moving on to a Smith machine. So we're gonna do a Smith machine incline followed by low row, um, low pulley row cable. And I set up a cool way. Yeah, I, just the way the handles and just the angle, I really like it. I enjoy it a lot. Incline. So I'm gonna put on a 25. Just put enough weight on so it's 185, because I probably can't do it. All right, so I'm not gonna, that's not my first set, just because it was very easy. Um, I'm not gonna waste um, a set there. So again, eight to 10 reps. Yeah, I'm gonna be definitely doing less than 10 each set after that. For sure, I can feel that. Oh. All right, so this is my favorite setup. Actually, if you can do this setup, you can do this setup anywhere, but for me, love it on the handles. Um, you know what they, they're called? Prime. I get a really good contraction. So how I got this setup basically is this is on like, have it on like about 45 degree incline. If you watch my foot, I basically kind of hook this foot in the back, kind of like for leverage. So I get myself like, I'm active from here to here, right? And then my back foot is basically bracing from here. So I'm in a hinge position still here. So I'm still very active from here. And then my line of pull here is basically, I have it really low anyway, which is sweet. So I'm basically hand here. And then I'm letting like right now, I have to really work to pull this thing back, right? So right now it's pulling me in naturally. So I'm letting it pull me in and reaching down, but keeping head space between my neck, like my shoulder, so I'm not like this, doing one of these things. I'm up here and creating more space by pushing the weight down more. So while I'm stretching the weight and it's pulling away, I'm still away from the weight and not like this. So I'm letting it give me the biggest stretch at the bottom where I'm still active, like I'm active from here. All right, you guys will get, you guys will learn how to do this soon. I'll teach y'all, I promise. I'm just weird like that. I can move a lot of muscles simultaneously very well. Either way, so we wanna be able to be here Still active, so this row is gonna be from here and it's gonna pull right to here, to my hip and shoulder all the way back and I'm, I'm retracting my right blade. So all the way back and I'm retracting my right shoulder blade's coming all the way back. So it's not staying here to here, it's protracted and coming all the way back. And I like a little bit of supination. So I'm not fully neutral, I have a little bit of supination. That's gonna activate my tears a little bit just from external rotation, left shoulder. I would say like the working load that I'm using for everything right now, estimate would be about, I would say 60% right now, my one rep max.
so remember when I'm pulling from this, I'm, I'm still maintaining a neutral spine. So I'm not hunched and trying to pull in here. When I'm, I'm bracing from here, when I'm pulling, like I'm using this, like I'm almost doing this, but I'm not moving my shoulder. So while it's pulling, I have a brace from here, pulling to here to leave my hips back. Well, I'm using this to give me leverage to pull. But when it comes back, my hands aren't still doing this. It's at a point where now I'm really using just this part of my back to stabilize and on the way back riding and then I have more pressure on this hand. So my initial part of the pull, I have pressure here and then it lessens from here while I get to here. So I'm not using this to pull the entire time. Just note that if you're gonna try that. Last push, standing cable flies. I'm gonna keep it very neutral. It's like this very natural hit across and then coming down. The entire chest is gonna work. I'm not gonna do anything low to high. I've done enough, I feel already. And then I'll do straight arm pull downs. As soon as I walk out, right, there's pressure. Right, it's easy for me to pull these together and then walk out, just take a step out. And everything's already here for me to push to either start from here or from here, right? So, and my hands are behind this, right? They're not like sitting like this. I think a lot of the times you guys get it, you're trying to punch knuckles. I'm doing this at the end. So I'm really behind this, just like I would if I was pressing a barbell, dumbbell. Those are where my hands are. I'm trying to punch knuckles and that's how we get this thing here. I'm trying to, I want to push and get to here while being behind, all right? So for me, I'm gonna walk back, create space, a nice stretch position from here. I'm still very active from here. I like using the V-bar because it feels like I'm doing a uh, dumbbell pullover. And it's literally the same thing, we're just doing it from a different angle. So reps can be very, same as the uh, chest flies. All right, and I stretch at the top. All right, I stretch, and if you can see, well, I'm, it's going up, I dip my chest into it. My chest always stays high. So I get this nice stretch at the top. If you look at my feet, a lot of the weight is actually sitting on my toes. But I'm not doing this. My butt's kind of is back. So my center of mass is staying right where my hips are so I can balance here and really work. I'm gonna rest shorter for this. Probably like a minute rest and then get into it. So if you wanna feel it guys, like, then you can bring them inside here, hands right underneath and walk out. Let them open up a bit and start just pressing. Keep your chest up and press with your palm. You should feel your chest already active, right? And I kinda of use that as my starting point and finishing point. When you guys are pushing on your flies and anything, you should be pushing back, pushing away. You shouldn't finish protracted. Oh, all right. Wanting down here now, superset some tricep extensions with some bicep curls on this preacher because that's my favorite machine. And I'll do that. So every one of these exercises are things that I like to do, that I feel 
I connect with the most in the surrounding that I'm in. So when I go to different gyms, you know, I know, you know, the setup of some sort. So I know when I go there, what machines or, you know, piece of equipment I'm gonna use. So give, be mindful of that. My goal is to keep my, see my shoulders? They're gonna stay there. So I have to stretch, like me pushing in my lats is keeping a massive stretch of my biceps. So I'm set up so my shoulders don't move. Right, if I add more weight, it's gonna affect my ability to keep my shoulders depressed so my chest and my shoulders don't do this. So my weight's sitting back a bit, but I'm putting pressure in the back of my arms to keep my chest up, stretch the bottom, pull. Here's your max stretch for that tricep. Getting over top, weight still on. Elbows are driven to the floor still. And push right down. We can't go back, but I like doing it this way because I get a little bit of that chesticles in the front. I'm pressing all the way down, so the, the uh, third head of the chest. In no way, shape, or form am I trying to achieve anything but a pump. Just really, honestly, working on my own form, keeping things strict, having fun with it, and just challenging myself. Very, you know, mildly, like it's a really slow progression. But set to set, now I'm just gonna get up and down to both exercises. Ugh. Yeah, 100%, I'll take it. I'll take those reps to like, you know, a couple shy of failure or to failure every once in a while. How I did when I was younger, it was failure every single time. That's the only way I knew how to, when the set was over. It was like, if you can't get it up, if you can still get it up, you're not done. Been following that to rule ever since. That's it. So that's that's all this. I was just supposed to be off season. I don't have an off season. I have a season. Anyway, so that's all I'm training, guys. My goal is to stay functional, stay active. I'm in a I would say hypertrophy, hypertrophy phase in a sense. You know, maintenance phase and a little bit hypertrophy in there. But for me, I need to get more functional. So a lot of my training, you know, lower body wise is strength and mobility. So I'll bring you guys that soon. But until then. For more workouts like this, you don't gotta let me know in the comment section below because I'm gonna do it anyway for you. But till next time, you guys know it is Iron Chabber's Arm, Progressive Overload Your Life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.